Hello and good afternoon, everybody. My name is Scott Davis. I'm coming to you from TechWise Group, my home office. Uh, just wanted to talk a little bit today about Zoom meetings and some of the security risks uh, around Zoom meetings that has been in the news recently. Uh, so Zoom meetings is similar to a lot of the different tools out there that companies, schools, uh, you know, whoever right now that's working from home trying to practice good social distancing is using. Uh, but Zoom meetings has grown a lot in a very quick time. And there's been a number of security flaws and bugs, also known as zero days that have been recently discovered that has caused the FBI to place a warning out on using Zoom meetings, uh, as well as there are many companies out there that are starting to ban Zoom meetings from being used uh, for their organizations because of some of these risks. Uh, some of the risks are affecting your Mac operating system, your Windows machine, even some mobile devices. Um, on the Mac, uh, there's some flaws that give root access, uh, which is you know the heart of the operating system on the Mac. On Windows, it's allowing access into the credentials. On the mobile devices, uh, there's uh, traces that it's sending information to Facebook, even if you don't have a Facebook account. So, you know, there are just a number of concerns that come into play with those. Another piece is security as a whole. Uh, I know the owner of Zoom meetings came out and said, you know, there is no end to end encryption. Um, you know, it's a secure environment, but, you know, it just isn't end to end. Uh, and that could be important if you're dealing with healthcare information, financial data, uh, if you fall under industry or compliance re requirements. Um, but I think the most unique thing that you see from Zoom meetings is what they're calling Zoom bombing or bombing your online meeting. And what that is, is the way Zoom works and the way almost all of the uh, services out there that do a similar thing, you know, these online meetings, is it gives you, you know, a nine digit code that is a unique for each meeting. And that nine digit code can be guessed. Uh, it's just nine numbers. Uh, so it's really not hard for, you know, a hacker in his spare time to just start trying to find a meeting number that's a good meeting. So what you're doing is they're finding these meetings that are active and they're joining that joining your meeting and some of them are posting pornography some of them are using vulgarity and saying things and then signing out of the meeting so it really can disrupt your meeting even more detrimental if your school is using zoom for its educational purposes you're potentially seeing elementary age kids you know placed into a picture where they're now seeing things that they shouldn't see or hearing things that really they shouldn't hear. <coughs> uh, so if you are using Zoom, keep your system updated. Um, you know, not just do the patches for Zoom meetings, but also patch your Windows operating system. If you're running Windows 7, it's time to upgrade it to Windows 10. Your IT department should have a conversation with you, with you on that. Use event passwords when possible. Event passwords in Zoom allow for that extra step of security. So you have the nine digit code for the meeting ID and then a password to verify that you are supposed to be in the meeting. If you are using event passwords, don't just post it out in the bulletin board or public on your website of join us at this meeting. Uh, if you're doing kind of a public meeting and using one of these tools, um, you know, consider using the waiting room uh, and really it comes down to managing participants. Make sure that you disable screen sharing. Make sure that you turn everybody's mics off. Uh, and, you know, some of them will even allow you to do the setting that you can say whose mic is on and whose is off. Um, so there's just a whole lot of stuff with Zoom right now. And Zoom isn't the only one out there. So I think a lot of media right now is using the term to, to the term Zoom meeting as the de facto online meeting, and it's not. It wasn't the first one out there that's doing online meetings, uh, but it is definitely one that's generating the most news right now. Cisco has a product called WebEx. Uh, Google has Hangouts. GoToMeeting is out there as well. And there's an array of other service providers out there that do the exact same thing. Talk to your IT department, find out what's approved, what's, a, what's not approved, and just be safe when you're doing it. Um, one of my favorite alternatives is Microsoft Teams. 
And I like Microsoft Teams for a couple of reasons. One, the security aspect, it's Microsoft. I'm not saying Cisco, not saying Google's not secure because they are, but Microsoft Teams, I know for a fact, it's a full Office 365 tier C compliant, you know, hitting SOC 1, SOC 2, ISO 27001, HIPAA, other industry compliances, other, you know, state federal law requirements, things like that. So there's a lot of value with that. The biggest value to your organization is if you already have Office 365 or Microsoft 365, you probably already have Teams licenses for your staff. And the collaboration aspect of Microsoft Teams in your already built out Office 365 environment is ginormous because it just adds the collaboration piece that Microsoft is missing uh, or was missing. Oh, sorry, allergies, not coronavirus. Uh, but in Teams, you can send instant messages. You can send chat messages with groups in Teams or you know, as just messages. Uh, you can tag people so that they get notifications. Uh, and there's just so much more. There's also phone functionality built into Teams, uh, which was the Skype for Business product has been integrated into Teams. Uh, so there's a ton of capability, a ton of possibility in Teams, and the video chat functionality of it is probably one of the favorites. Um, now, there are some advancements coming. There are some feature improvements coming. Uh, so, you know, there are some things coming that's going to make Teams even better. Um, the last thing I want to leave you with is just a side note on phishing called bonus material. Uh, I've monitored a lot of phishing emails over the last couple weeks and you know I see increases every day of more and more emails coming across that are coronavirus COVID-19 related. My favorite ones are click here for the latest stats on your state um, and it's, it's a link that takes you to a malware or a phishing site every single time. If you're not expecting it, don't open it. Just be careful with your email. Be extra careful as you're working from home because you're outside of your normal company safeguards, the firewall and security services they have in place. There's also a lot of phishing emails that have come out over the last 24 hours that are targeting Zoom uh, as it's in the news as being kind of the de facto that you know everyone's going to, a 500% increase in use. Uh, I'm seeing emails coming across, you know, reset your Zoom password for security or you know update zoom now click here to download it and it's a malware package so there's a lot out there that you need to be careful of you know as we transition to this modern workforce security has to remain a top concern so that's what i have this week if you're using zoom meetings continue to use it just be smart about it make sure you're updating it make sure you're patching if you have office 365 um please really consider using Microsoft Teams and making that the platform that your organization uses uh, and don't allow the use of the other platforms. Uh, Microsoft Teams really is the is one of the best solutions out there in my personal opinion. Um, so there's a lot of great value in there. And if you already have Office 365, again, it's free. If you have any questions on Microsoft Teams, feel free. Shoot me an email, scott at techwisegroup.com. I'd be more than happy to set up a demo with you uh, or even talk to you about different ways that TechWise Group can help you strengthen the security of your Office 365 environment and your teams. So until next time, happy Friday, everybody.